Well, today has to be right there up with my birthday, okay? It's actually National Cheese Fondue Day, and today we're celebrating. We're melting, dipping, and dunking with Melting Pot, and there Jason Holtgren is here to show me how the magic is made. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, this, thanks for having me on the show. Oh my gosh, you can bring <laughs> bread and cheese and chocolate and all this anytime I know, to come right? on the show. Okay? <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> and I didn't eat this morning yet, so I'm so stoked. Tell me, awesome. what are we doing today? What makes fondue so special? Yeah, so what we're making today is our signature Wisconsin cheese. It uh, includes a nice little beer base. Oh. I'm gonna just start by putting You're it in doing, here. I love it, yes. Oh yeah, gotta get going right so away. You, you You're hungry, right? You have to have right? this. This is the most important. Like, yes. you have to have the fondue pot. I mean, it's not fondue without a fondue pot. It, yeah, it's, it's fancy. It's that like signature look with the little bowl, and there's a nice little liner in here. If you take out the liner, you can use it for uh, cooking entrees, cooking different items, like a little broth pot. If you've ever been to Hot Pot, very similar situation. Yes. Okay. So, um, including, we're gonna add a nice little bit of crushed garlic in here. Ooh, yes. No one sit by me later. <laughs> garlic, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, it actually, uh, I usually smell like garlic, but that's the best part because uh, hey, it, like it makes me onions, hungry yeah. while, no one while cares. I'm eating. <laughs> So we added a little bit of crushed garlic to okay. that. We, uh, we like to let it get fragrant, you know, nice and, uh, we're gonna also add some mustard powder. Mustard powder. And most people think mustard powder. Yeah, what are What are you doing putting that in the right. cheese? But it actually tastes fantastic. Okay. You'll find out in a second because we're gonna add this nice little cheddar and Swiss blend oh my to gosh. there. Gonna put it in there. Just get it on going. And we take my little whisk. Yes. I like to say uh, with widow whisk comes widow award, <laughs> but with big whisk comes big reward. Oh, that looks so <laughs> cheesy and delicious. I'm obsessed with the melting pot for date night. Oh, you yeah. know, I, I feel like I've been going here forever in high school and dances. So what, what do you think is so special about this place? Do you think it's the ambiance, the fact that people are celebrating. Yeah. I think some of the greatest things about the melting pot is that it's more of an experience than just eating food. Because you can go anywhere and just eat a meal and sometimes you're rushing through it, sometimes you don't take a moment to sit and enjoy the meal that you're eating. Yes. But with the melting pot it takes time, it takes like almost two hours at times. Wow. Where, you know, there's someone making this cheese right in front of you and they're showing you like this is a cheese pull and this is what it looks like, this is how you do it. A lot of people who come into the melting pot, it's their first time coming in. Right. So they're not really sure what they're getting into, but it's actually so much fun. And they're, you're folding in the cheese right now. Mm -hmm, is that what yes. you're doing? You're doing so it So I'm in adding stages? some more cheese. You <laughs> like don't want to add it all at <laughs> once because <laughs> it's it, too much. it'll just become this nice big clump. Okay. But if you do it correctly, and it's starting to melt in, you can start to see it kind of yes, gaining magic. that texture of, it's almost like a, like a thickened soup. It's like queso. Almost. Oh my gosh, and how hot is this? I mean, I see oh, that you're these not are, here. These are very hot, okay. so we like to be very careful around uh, the melting cheese. Definitely. Uh, a lot of people, when they eat it, they can start at the edges, and that's where it's the hottest. I okay. usually recommend people start at the middle of the cheese fondue and then work their way out, and while they're doing it, they turn on the burner down just a little bit, and it helps it. Pro tip, fondue tip. Little pro tip. That, <laughs> is, that is why we're here. And yeah. I'm seeing so many things that you can dip. I feel like this is just, you know, of course, oh, bread. Yes. Like, my diet revolves around cheese and bread. I'm obsessed. I mean, but yeah, I but it's different types of bread. Y okay, you okay, talk about You can't just have the, the regular old bread. Also, I added Worcestershire sauce in there. I was gonna say, is that balsamic? That, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's adding in a nice little texture. Yum. We have ciabatta bread so good. Oh my gosh. and pretzel bun oh. with some green apples. We have broccoli, cherry tomatoes, and carrots for our dippers. Yum. And we also have a charcuterie oh, board. Look at that cheese pole, you guys. Yeah. Stop. Oh. I wore white today, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. I should have gotten the black menu <laughs> memo. 
And then okay. dessert too is a whole thing. Oh, it's fantastic. So you, I so, mean, you're just fondue from start to finish for oh, dinner. Oh, exactly. We have four different courses that are okay. typically offered at any melting pot that you go to. The first course is this nice little cheese right here that we just made. And then the second course is our salads. It's like a palate cleanser in between the cheese and the okay. entrees. When the entrees come out, they're uncooked. So we have five different cooking wow. styles to choose from. We've got like different broth pots. We have a cast iron grill, which is like, you know, like the skillet fajitas, stuff like that. Totally sizzling. Fan yes. yes. The it's smoke is coming. Like I mean. sizzling at your table, <laughs> and it's not artificial. It's fantastic. It's a great time. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then we have a deep fryer style called bourguignon. It's a European style where you use a panko breadcrumb and a tempura batter and you mix it all in together and you put the items into the oil and cook it. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. So a lot, there's enough for everyone. <laughs> my mouth is watering. Yep. We have to taste test. Is it time? Is this ready? Oh yeah, is, it's, 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 it's time to taste to test. Don't worry, over here I'm prepared. I already have my bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll catch up. Feel free. Okay, what is the technique? I'm gonna watch so, the master. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, normally what I would do uh -huh. is you just go into the cheese uh -huh. and then you twist like clockwise, counterclockwise, so that you don't get a much of that drip. Because yes. if you leave it like so, you know, it's gonna drip down, you're gonna make a mess everywhere. But we don't wanna do that. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Bam. Mm. Twirl, 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 twirl. This looks so good and creamy. Absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that reminded me. I, I haven't had breakfast going. either. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no breakfast. Oh my gosh. Anything else you want people to know about the melting pot while I stuff my face? Ooh, yes. So, uh, mm. as I said, we had the entrees. And then after the entrees, a lot of people are like, you know, they're getting that full, that food coma, sitting heavy back in the chair. And that's when we bring out the big guns. What we are well known for is our cheese and our chocolate. And the chocolate is a fantastic, like, headliner. I would go in just for chocolate. Right, just if go I for could dessert go for and a drink or something. Exactly. Oh. And so this one right here is our original chocolate. It's got a nice little scoop of peanut butter and milk chocolate. And it's melted. You can mix it together. And then the dippers over here include Rice Krispies, Belgian waffles, Oreo dusted marshmallows, bananas, strawberries, pound cake, blondies, and brownies. You are just, I mean, my mouth is watering. I'm excited for the commercial break to have <laughs> some of that chocolate. Jason, thank you so much for being yeah. here. All of the melting pots recipes for this Wisconsin cheddar fondue will be on the website or text the word recipe to 206-448-4545 and we'll send that to you. Now go and get your dip on.